Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. And what a day we had today. Highs topping out at 79 <laughs> degrees. Not a record, but way above average. And right now we are starting to see some high clouds drift in. If you are heading out this evening, don't worry about any rainfall. We are looking at partly cloudy conditions up toward Mahia. This is our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker. It is in Mahia on top of the Civic Center. Uh, looking down, that is the City Hall looking pretty good right now across the region. Just got in the latest on the drought monitor, and that's not good news, especially when you see red on the map there. You can see extreme drought now being reported. The western part of McLennan County, southern parts there of Bosque County, and a good chunk of Coriel County. That includes the Gatesville area. And then just kind of a sharp drop off as you work your way down toward the Brazos Valley. Everything seems to be okay at this time, but areas west of I-35, extreme my drought right now for a large part of the region. And as for for the burn bands, take a peek at that. It does include McLennan County over toward Coriel County and then areas back off to the west, also off to the east over toward Mahia right along I-45. It does not include Bell County at this time. Temperatures today again running well above average. We're at 77 degrees here in Waco. It's 77 Gatesville, 75 from Temple over toward Colleen and just as nice down in the Brazos Valley. 76 in College Station and Brenham checks in right at 77 degrees. Our wind continues out of the south and slightly southeast, so we're going to start to see a lot more moisture move in here. We're going to see our clouds start to thicken, and by tomorrow, I expect a lot of clouds here across the region. You'll notice wind's not too bad, about 3 miles per hour over toward Comanche, and 10 right now in the Lampasas area. Our satellite loop shows pretty quiet conditions. Again, the upper level winds are going more west to the east, and that's why you're seeing the cloud deck. But take a look at this. Quite a bit of cloud cover right now in New Mexico, West Texas. That's all marching in our direction. So I think tomorrow looks mostly cloudy here across the area with those southerly winds. Let me show you how it looks on our future cast as we hit the evening hours partly to maybe a mostly clear sky for just a little bit. But by midnight, more and more clouds begin to move into our area. And by tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies to start the day. That'll keep temperatures up just a little bit. But I want you to notice a little flashes of green across the region. You can see it here and there. A sprinkle or two can't be ruled out. That's that moisture moving up from the south and southeast. As we hit the afternoon, temperatures will still climb into the 70s for a little bit and then back down into the 60s. We're going to keep it mainly cloudy for tomorrow night. And then as we kick off the weekend on Saturday, mostly cloudy skies. And look at these lows, 60s to start the day. As we go throughout the day, once again, there will be a slight chance of an isolated shower. Temperature should make upper 70s at least across the region, and it does look like those winds will really start to kick in too. So windy conditions pick up on Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday, and you can see Sunday a little bit better chance of some moisture beginning to move through our area with a disturbance actually beginning to come in here. Looks like late Sunday into Monday with that front, and that'll bring us our best chance of showers and isolated thunderstorms. Tonight's forecast, partly cloudy this evening, 53 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. A few scattered sprinkles, again, can't be rolled out. 76 degrees will be the high. We're going to notice those winds begin to pick up. Here's your long range 10 day forecast. Windy over the weekend, 79 on Saturday, 81 for the high on Sunday. Our best chance of showers and a few thunderstorms will be Sunday night into Monday. Monday we dropped to 62 degrees and the rest of the forecast keeps temperatures just a little bit below average for this time of the year. Low to mid 60s here right on through the end of the week. Nighttime lows in the 30s and 40s and then down toward Bryan and College Station. Windy conditions over the weekend with temperatures in the 80s. Again, best chance of some moisture really appears to be on Monday. Early Monday with that front moving through and then cooler weather along the way with nighttime lows also coming down into the 40s for overnight lows. But this weekend, a pretty mild weekend. You know it's going to be windy out there. And again, our best chance for some rain will be late Sunday into Monday. A little rain wouldn't be bad, right? No, we We're need the rain. That drought monitor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we need the rain bad. You saw the drought monitor. We're in the extreme category now in western McLennan County here, just west of Waco. Uh, that's not good news. We need to see some rain. Especially with the wind. Wind yeah. and people you burning get, outdoors, dry conditions. Absolutely right. You get the wind, the low humidity out there, and the dry conditions. That's the perfect ingredients for these fires that just get out of control. But